Jumping is an essential skill. It can get you out of difficult situations, open up new line choices and add a fun element to your skiing. Learning to jump properly comes from a simple movement called the pop. I'm on a nice flat area, plenty of space around, feet hip width apart, and I'm gonna flex my ankles, knees, and waist, and extend up. The goal is to pop straight up, not forward or back, stay balanced over your feet, and you'll feel controlled in the air. A smooth flex down and controlled extension will help you stay in balance. Practice this until you get it right every time. Now we're gonna add some movement. I'm here in the snow park and it's a great controlled environment to learn how to jump in. There's normally a beginner's line like these smaller ones, so start on these and build your confidence. There's a few rules to follow in the snow park and they're normally set out by the entrance, but the biggest thing to watch out for is stay clear of the landing area. Anybody coming into this jump is going to be completely blind to what's on that landing zone. So get yourself a spotter who can tell you when it's clear and if you do crash, get out of the way as quick as you can and never ever stand in the landing zone. Let's take a look at the components of the jump. The run-in, then the ramp, this is called the lip of the jump, and the landing. You want to avoid landing on the flat here, try and clear the gap and actually land on the downslope because there'd be much less impact. I'm at the top of the jump here. I've already watched a few people go off so I've got a good idea of how much speed I'm going to need and I've got my spotter there giving me the all clear. So slide in into the beginning of the jump, flex down and pop. Most people when they're learning to jump focus purely on the lip and the takeoff, but the preparation is much more important. As I'm coming towards the jump, I'm gonna gently flex down and prepare myself for a smooth pop. And then you'll find yourself in a good balance position in the air and ready for the landing. A smooth flex down and controlled extension will help you stay in balance. I'm in balance, looking ahead, and I'm ready to absorb the landing. Gradually progress. Make sure you're feeling confident and relaxed on the smaller jumps before moving up in size. Once you feel confident in the air, you can add some basic movement. Pulling the legs up slightly will help you balance in the air and feel more dynamic. Bigger jumps will give you more time in the air. Stay composed and get comfortable with this sensation. That's jumping. Start off small and slowly build up. Get used to the feeling of being in the air and it's something you'll use all over the mountain. 